okay so this is the next video into the continuation of our fast jpi series so in the last video like uh, not in the last video but in the second last video like we could see how to serve the templates so we see like uh, not only over the like the back end but we can like uh, develop the front end as well uh, front end means like the html pages and we can serve the html pages us using the jinja2 and uh, within the fast jpi as well so let jump into the code so let me root to my directory let me activate the environment okay so till now how our look uh, how our app looks like so let's first check that so application has been started not on docs but on the front page so this is like our front page look likes right so we serve th uh, this front page but this is not a like uh, a good page right so we need to maintain this page uh, like uh, there is no header there is no footers there is no item to be displayed so we will see like how to add the uh, nav bar or you can say header into the page so, okay so uh, let me close it so yeah so where our all the html pages has been placed in the templates folder so let direct to the templates folder so we have like a base.html test home page.html but uh, when we like uh, create the like a uh, nav bar that is the navigation bar so navigation bar like uh, generally visible across all the pages so we will like uh, we should put into the base.html right okay so, and we will use the bootstrap so login into the bootstrap so i just mentioned like uh, uh, bootstrap onto the google and click on the first link and uh, click on the docs and in the search docs just search nav bar so click on the nav bar so we are not going to write the code but the already the code is available with us so we have so many nav bar like option available this link uh, this format this format so many formats available we will use the first one so just copy the code and because we have to because this nav bar will be visible across all the pages so rather than putting like uh, this nav bar code uh, in every time all the pages we will put this nav bar code in the base html so in the body like uh, on top of this we can like uh, we can paste uh, that code right but if we paste this long code here uh, like uh, this file become like very cluttered so what we will do we will create a new file navbar.html and just paste that code right so we have paste that code just save it now go to the base.html so now we will include that file here so mention include which file we have to include navbar.html so using the jinja syntax like we use the include operator so earlier like uh, we use the extends so let me show you nano item so here we use the extend because we have to extend the extend means like uh, within that as well like uh, code like we have to uh, like uh, put something so that's why like we use the extend uh, keyword but here we are just uh, like uh, we will everything we will like uh, use the same so top part will be the same bottom part will be the same but uh, wherever you we like, we want to include uh, some code like at this point only so that's why like we use the include but when we use the extend extend miss so we are using that code that is the parent code that is the base html code and within that base html code we are extending something so there is a difference between the include and the extend so here we will use the include so let's save it and our app is already running so let's so right now our app looks like this so let's refresh the page so now our app looks like this so a little bit of progress right but rather than these items so let's uh, let me like uh, format uh, something some some useful name so go to the navbar.html 
so instead of the navbar so let's write fast api right and if i save it and if i come here and refresh it so it automatically come fast api so home home will be home so home will be which route so our home page route fine and as place of link we will use the docs so we have docs url and the docs url serve on which link so slash docs okay so let me save that so now we have this in a home page if we click on the home page i will return the home page so fast if i don't have link but if you click on the docs automatically like uh, the documentation page will be open right but we have the redoc as well so let's create one more link so for the docs let's create one more list li class so same thing like i am repeating item i am not writing like all these codes but uh, i am using the bootstrap even i am not good in the front end a class i am just copy pasting like uh, just repeating the like uh, this line these three lines nav link href now we have the redoc as well and give redoc because uh, we know like uh, uh, the fast api provide two types of documentation one is simple documentation one is the read documentation right so we have this uh, link as well so let's save it and uh, let's refresh so now we have the docs and we have the redoc so if i click on the redoc it says detail not found why why it says detail not found because uh, if you remember like uh, we can like uh, 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 let me show you in the open api schema so this is our open api metadata so in the open api schema we mention like uh, redoc url should be none so we don't want to display the redoc url but if i re remove this and save it and uh, now if i refresh it now i am able to see the redoc url as well but we can like from the front end as well we can go to the redoc url all right so as part of this video so we have to like we did a, a little bit of a progress more so but what i want to show you the main thing is like that so we we have to organize our code so rather than putting like uh, uh, the code which has been repeated in okay the repeated code we have to put into the base html but rather than the base html itself we will like uh, create a like some different uh, page so we created nav.html and we have include that here okay so now our like uh, uh, nav bar looks like this so in the next video we will do like uh, a little bit more progress yeah so that's the end of the video thank you